Welcome to Crime and Justice, the host AD. Tonight we're looking at the interview of Ophelia, the owner of the AMB did, and asking ourselves why when she saw Jay walking up that hill the wrong way, did she not help? And why when the father of Jay Slater went to speak to her, she would not speak to him? Why? Included Airbnb where Jay Slater spent his last known hours, has broken her silence on the morning he mysteriously walked off alone. The intensive hunt for 19-year-old Jay Slater rages. The young man vanished without a trace on Monday morning, following his last phone conversation with friend Lucy, shortly before his mobile signal disappeared. Ophelia, proprietor of Casa Abuela Tina, the holiday let where Jay reportedly stayed with acquaintances made at the NRG festival, expressed her deep concern for the missing teen. She recounted witnessing Jay ascending a hill by himself that fateful Monday morning. From the doorstep of the rental property, Ophelia recounted, It's dangerous walking around here. It's easy to lose yourself. He walked up the road when I saw him for the last time. He was alone. He was walking normally, though he was fast. Before setting out on foot along the solitary road that snakes through the area, Jay had inquired about bus services, Ophelia revealed, according to the mirror, amid the growing media frenzy, she voiced her grave worries but insisted. We are not to blame. The holiday home where the young man was staying is listed online for rental and was supposedly rented by two men, who were with Jay on his last sea night. She said she expressed a deep concern for the missing teen. She recounted witnessing Jay ascending a hill by himself that fateful Monday morning. Ophelia recounted, it's dangerous walking around here. It's easy to lose yourself. He walked up the hill road when I saw him for the last time. He was alone. He was walking normally, though he was fast. Now, what did she mean by he was walking normally? Right? Just like anyone else? Why would she say he was walking normally? Why? And if it's dangerous walking around there and easy to lose yourself, why wouldn't you stop and offer him a lift? Or take him, even if it meant turning around at the top and taking him to the nearest village. Why can you have done that? Is a young lad, didn't know the area, doesn't know the language, but you let him walk up that hill. Although he's walking normally, or was he walking with a limp? Or was he walking at all? And why, when the father came, you would not speak to him? You turned and walked away. Who's told you not to speak to the father? The police? Or someone else? Because what harm is there in telling, talking to the father about the last time you saw his son? What harm? Anyway, I did say in one of my lives that I didn't think she had anything to do with this. But to be honest with you, Nan, I'm changing my opinion. Right? And I've been thinking about this for weeks. Why, when she saw him, did she not stop? Why did she not stop and say, Excuse me, excuse me, you're going the wrong way. You need to go that way. Or offer him a lift. You know what I mean? Why would you not do that? He was a young lad. And this is why the father is so upset. 
because he was up on a hill. He didn't know where he was. He was walking the wrong way. Apparently. And apparently walking normally. Well, how else should you be walking? So, there's just some a bit off. Did she actually see Jay that morning? Or was she told just to say that? Was she paid off? Was she told by the police to not say anything? Because apparently, because he was told not to speak. But why? Why was they told not to speak? He's speaking now. So why didn't he speak in the first place? Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to leave you with a picture. This young lad. Been missing. Three weeks now. Coming on to four weeks. What is your opinion? What do you think? Do you think the owner saw Jay that morning? Or not? Let me know in the comments.